Hey, field agents, the FBI here. I want to come up with tons and tons of events, and I want to cover the COC strategy that we need to engage in the battlefield to have a better time and see some better results. So hang in there with me, and we'll begin. We'll start from the top of the list. Uh, it starts with the clash of civilizations, so let's go ahead and hit that up. What we're not seeing is, we'll just go over this this right here, and I'll show you what people are not doing. When I went, I did not see a lot of people doing the buildings. It was, uh, you had people hitting the hive buildings and capturing hives, and that was pretty much about it. Uh, these dome buildings, at least in the matches I've been in, have been ignored. They do have some significant buffs and points, if y'all will not miss them. Um, you got one that does the big heel, and it gives everyone 150% buffs for 10 minutes. Sanctuary. It does a complete heal for 20%. And you get 100%. Solar. You get mark size 150%. And... 1,000 scores. The Lunar. You get a Rally Boost 50% for 10 minutes and 1,000 points. This is the one that everybody... I've seen people have been doing this one. Because once one team captures it, nobody else can recapture it. So I've seen this building. This has actively been done but these have been not engaged in at a, at a significant level and here's what my video was initially going to be about it's about the solar and lunar site if you especially if you're like a trap keep and your whole thing is to sit there and you're just going to get, play trap mode you want to be all on this lunar you should line up, kill some stuff out in the side forest, and get these and stack these nine lunar sites up. It's going to prevent you from doing multiple marches. You're going to have one march only, but you're going to have this increased buff, making you a more effective unit for when you do get attacked. And you'll be better poised to join rallies or protect buildings but with a single march while you're super buffed up for defense other side if you're a rallier but maybe you're not the strongest and you know you're behind on your buffs because you're not a big coiner the equalizer to it is to become a solar site stacker Again, you're limited down to one march, but, okay, I didn't spend $200,000 on my game, but I got similar buffs to people that do, but I have one march. But I killed these monsters, and I'm solar stacking. So it gives you an equalizer. I mean, you are penalized, but you get to play like a big player. And the other thing is, and I don't see it on this, on the battlefield you're given a limited amount of teleports. When you kill these monsters, you can gain additional teleports for the battlefield. And if you're a big player, if you look back at my last match, uh, 
about an hour and about when we had 50 minutes left I actually left the battle scene I went out into a field and fully healed uh, hitting these boxes up and it took me like three minutes and all I did was grab uh, the healing boxes but as I grabbed the healing boxes I also went back into the battle fully buffed up with these lunar and solar sites Nobody was hitting me, so I dropped the lunars, but I kept the solar sights, and I went, and I did some jacked-up hittings on my first few strikes back. So it was really good. Um, but that's something that I don't see a lot of people doing. But if you're watching this channel, that's also something that you can counter look for. It's somebody that teleports to the field to re-health up, to kill them while they're, while they're healing them back up. It's, uh, I did it and I was half health, but my health, my half health is 30 billion, so. But say you're 6 billion and you get down to 3, well, you know. 1.5 of it's going to be a meat shield. And you can't fight with that. So. You need to. At some point in time. Think about your troop count. And. Restock those soldiers. If. You're not being disciplined enough. Every two or three rallies. You need to grab a health box. And if you can do that. It's like perpetual motion. You will not need it will cover itself as long as you got a, a good death turn rate buff science on your castle. But it takes all of ten seconds to hit the map, hit the field, find a box. Send a march out to the box and then go back to joining the rallies. It doesn't have to be all day. Uh, I'll show you to the extent. Let's uh, say we're doing the fights and we're doing the rallies right here. You simply hit the swirl map. And say if we were fighting here. You know out here in the green. You would find a box real quick. Click the box. Click it and send it off, and then come right back to join your rally. You only need to do that every two or three rallies, and and get your health back. And just take. There's so many health boxes. You just do it every. You do it every so often and keep your health up, because what it's going to do is it evenly proportionally heals your troops. So when it gives you. When it gives you either 10 or 15 percent troops, it's going to give you the 10 or 15 percent down your entire line. So you'll get 10 or 15 percent of your 15s, 14s, 13s, and you'll just get it all the way down of what's dead. It don't give you 10 percent and all the troops are at the top, or 10 percent and all the troops are at the bottom. It'd be equally proportioned down each line is where you get that 10 or 15 percent. So that's why I say you do two, three rallies and then pop over to the side, grab a box and go back to the rallies. But if you're not if you're not disciplined enough to do that, when you get to a certain a certain threshold, you just stop what you're doing, get back healed where you're supposed to be. And then go back to join the rally. It's like what I had done. Like I said, I hit like 30, 32 billion. I stopped everything. I think maybe it was 40. But anyway, I was under where I was comfortable because I knew my 15s was getting thinned out. So I stopped everything. I went and I did a full heal. And like I said, it took me like three minutes grabbing boxes because they're everywhere. Um, I don't know the exact math, but 
it's not 10% 10 times is 100 because when you do percents, it's 10% one time. And then the 10% the second time is not going to be 10. It's going to be 0.9. So after you do 10% like 14 times, 15 times, you're basically at 100. You'll be like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 off. I don't know the exact number. I don't have a calculator. But if you do 0.10% plus, 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 it's like 14, 15 times, you could be back at close to 100. All right, let's go. So that was my big thing about the the battlefield. Just make sure you're buffing with the lunar marches. Make sure you're doing the solars. Especially, like I said, if you are lacking or if you're running a trap, you definitely want to have the lunars. You definitely want to heal and keep your troops up. And don't wait to the last minute because... You know when you're fresh is when you got your best defense. So stay fresh, stay stay supplied with troops. Two, three rallies, hit one. Two, three rallies, hit one. Get down to a certain threshold when you know that you start not doing so well. Restock completely. Alright, now on to the events. We did almost 12 minutes on that so we're going to go really fast now all right they renamed they renamed this to celebration event same thing as we've been having what's different is the rename they put the sphinx castle on here sphinx castles ain't very good but it is a permanent not a 14 day so that's a really good thing. But the castle's not a very good castle. Pyramid is two times better than the Sphinx. Amazing General. There we go. If this is what, when we're not in Battlefield, I play with the Pyramid because it gathers faster and it does your march speed. Both things that you need to acquire resources faster. Faster monsters, faster gathering. You, the pyramid is a really good thing to have. Most of your big, big players that know about buffs and know about doing better, you'll see them using the pyramids when they're not in PvP. Um, I'm not using it because I just got done with Huns, but... I'll be switching back to it before I start. Persiles. It's a uh, paid sub, uh, paid super general, duty general. Narciss. He's the best ground general in the game for sub unlocks. I'll show them to y'all in a second. Mark Anthony. He's a good range debuffer. And you got your normal stuff. I'm going to show y'all Narciss real quick. Like I said, I don't have enough copies of them, so I don't use them. I think if I had them three bloods, I would use him over Darius. But here he is. He's 50% on the ground attack. And the enemy ground and mount defense 40%. And then, and then he starts to debuff on the stars. But when you compare him to Darius, he's just slightly better. He's slightly better than Darius. Where he's 
50, he's 35, and this is ground and mount 20, where he was ground and mount. It was ground and mount 40. So he said he's so much better than Darius, but it's really hard to get copies of. But you see, he just he's drastically better than Darius. All right, next event. Your blessing. You should be taking advantage of the blessing and doing your five. Uh, refines daily so you're slightly getting better each day at a reduced rate uh, lost treasure events back if you're going to buy this today's the day because it costs the same amount if you do it for one day or all 14 days and for ten dollars get ten stanimas 50 skips, 30 red boxes, 10 of them, which usually equal bloods, and 30% march speed, which I buy anything that has to do with march speed, I'll get. And the big treasures for this... Some marches that you can get out of the other. I kind of like the elephant one. I like the red demons. Mine's between the red demons and the elephants. Which one I like best? Anyway, alright. It's the last day of Hun's invasion. Which I covered that in another video. The Immortal Heroes. This is sort of a little bit groundbreaking because uh, it's going to make a big change. What used to be you'd go to server and a big player would play. If he lost or had a bad day, what would be $2,000... Or $2,500 in life stones. This, because the way it is, it's going to turn that $2,000 into $200, $300. Maybe $500. Okay. 70% of your dead soldiers after 500 million. So, if you have 500 million and you buy this, it will not help you. Don't buy this if you need to heal 400 million, 500 million, or 510 million, because it's going to give you 70% of 10 million. It only helps you in excess of, 10, of 500 million. It will not credit you below 500. Now say you have a 5 billion loss. You, you take a big hard rally. For 4.5 billion, it's going to give you 70%. 270. Roughly 3.2 billion, roughly. Uh, like I said, I don't have a calculator. Roughly 3.2 billion power. It's going to give you back for $20. Instead of what used to would have been $1,500. So if you want to see. That's just how drastic it is. And, and this is going to make people want to play more. And not stay under the shield waiting on Battlefield. 
<clears throat> now they'll still be responsible for that other 1.2 billion but with all the events and stuff i think you can come up with the with the change the one point something billion and most people hospitals will will hold most big people hospitals will hold 500 million so your, your hospital is going to cover that 500 million and what would have been lifestones should have covered the other all right on to the next thing but anyway that like i said this is going to make a lot more participation especially if people read it and understand it lucky jackpot same as always you get one free one you get one for finishing your daily activities crazy eggs here forever luggies here forever good good trial nobody does it anymore because it's so outdated and the rewards ain't worth garbage um I'm waiting until after BOC is signed up for this with my March on and my bu Dragon Buffs. But we won our match yesterday. It won't, oh, it won't, it won't show it. You only chose it for the one day. Alright. Civilization's back. And they got the maple syrup. Siege and mount. Siege debuff, mount, buff. And click this one. We're about done. Alright, Exhibition Hall, we are looking at, don't do it, it's in the regular, don't do it, it's in the regular, if you don't have EdTech finished, this is one I recommend getting, if you don't have him, he is good for, C he's a Siege General, but he's good for defending, offense, defense, reinforcing. He is leading the army and not ta attacking the army, reinforcing the army. He has it for leading the army. I will show y'all him with the recommendation. I got his clothes off because I had it on somebody for pants. But, um, siege and range. Siege attack 30% when leading the army. Range and siege attack by 10% when he brings the beast. And then you'll see his stars, siege, att siege attack, siege attack, siege attack, siege attack. So every one of his buffs, uh, every one of his stars and his yellow box is set up for reinforcing, defending, or attacking. So if you don't have ed tech, he is a very good for that. This is an effect. What oh, we got on here this time? Capache. Capachula, I looked it up online earlier. It is a range, it's a sub general made for range debuffing. I do not have a copy of it yet.
Yeah, I was trying to get it. I was trying to get it here. Because you can get it here or you can get it from the wheel. If you don't want to spend $3,000, you can try to get it off of this. But you can also get this one, this one, and this one. So it's un it's not normal for them to have three super generals on this uh, general chest. And that's where my two purchases came from that I've done so far. And I received... I used a double coupon. I received him and a garbage general. And I got another Zika with a garbage general. So it gave me one and one. One good, one bad. I used this for my march speed. Secret Wheel still in. Dragon Thieves. Which I'm waiting on something else to come up. The Wishing Pool. Which I use these items here. Sometimes I would have done Bloods, but this time I didn't do Bloods. Tree's still in. Regardless of who you are, you should be doing the Tactical Scrolls. Because the gold's one thing, but the Tactical Scrolls, by the end of the game, I promise you that's what you're going to be lacking. I don't care how many you have now. Just trust me, the Tactical Scrolls is the final hang-up. Don't worry about if you're low in gold or low whatever. Scrolls will be the final hang-up. And make sure you claim, make sure you claim this free thing right here. Uh, it's giving you a chance. I guess every day they're going to have a thing here where you can pick it if you want this general. If you didn't have a Ludwig and you wanted one, right here they lay it out where you can get it. Here's the summoning orders. Once you come over here, he's very good. Douglas is good. Polygamous is good, but not good enough for me to pay for because I already have them uh, in the convent. All right, y'all. That's everybody. This thing was kind of long, but I think we covered a lot of good stuff. Um, if you're still here, thank you. I hope to see everybody in the uh, BOC tomorrow. And we'll rock it out. We'll see y'all there.